Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to give a rundown of exactly why I created this channel. When I was watching YouTube channels, I realized there wasn't really a lot out there that showed people living paycheck to paycheck and just really more identification than anything else, and which is great. And I did a lot of research and I learned a lot of things. But when I started looking for those items, I learned that the smaller amounts that I was finding them for were still outside my budget. So I then had to learn how to sell littles, little hard goods. So buying them at smaller prices to then flip them to gain money to buy other items that were a little outside my price range. So, to, so then I could then flip into more profit. So I hope this channel really brings a lot of value to you. Also, I have been there when things break. <laughs> And I can't tell you how frustrating that is, but I have learned how to make lemonade out of lemons because my business does not have any type of loss. So I can't wait to jump into that later on in the videos. Now for the video you've been waiting for. All right, let's jump right into it. I got Chance here ready to go and he was on our vlog with us as you remember yeah. and we are going to jump right into making some money then by all means make your paper boo boo all right let's start out with textiles first is a professional knitted textile this is really for like somebody in a wheelchair as a gift or for somebody that um wants a lap blanket now we're gonna put in pictures of all of the um close-ups of the knitting because that's what really makes a difference here if the knots are really really small and tight the more value the more the more professional your person your knitter is and the more value you're going to get from that item now it, do, it also depends on the size of course now this one is just for a lap blanket so it's smaller it's it's 51 by 32 roughly and it is um then the pattern like a galaxy pattern except the galaxy pattern is just one flower this one is a 3d flower on top of itself so it's even more extravagant and even more proof that it comes from a really really good knitter so now this one does have some defects it does have a little bit of splitting but it's actually splitting in the actual squares because they'll make each square and then knit them all together so each so it's just a little bit of separation in the square in and then in one in the flower but it's not like actually within the knitting and the making of the actual piece so any knitter would grab this and just sew that seam that up and give it as a gift like it's nothing so we're gonna go ahead and put that online for anywhere between 25 and 45 dollars even with the um with the defects so keep that in mind The next one we have is the blue one, which is a giant square, which I'll insert a picture because obviously we'll knock everything down. <laughs> but we have, it's a big giant square, 75 inches by 75 inches. It's called a grandma square. Usually these are in individual squares and you'll see them across. I'll show this next. But um, this one is one giant one. So this one is could fit on a, on a bed uh, as a bedspread. So this is a larger one. And I could see this one going for anywhere between $45 and $65. And I got this one for only $3.79. So this is where you can really find deals and make money. And all I do with these is throw them in the washer as long as there's no holes or rips or anything because you don't want it to unfray or you want it to you know unravel yeah you would want, want, want it to unravel so we throw it in the washing machine make sure it doesn't stink or anything like that of course and then um we ship it off and they buy they buy these all the time look them up on ebay it they sell next up we have the granny squares so this is what a traditional granny squared blanket looks like the, the pattern So they're each individual squares and there's multiple of them. This one is mid-century and it is 
uh, 66 by 36 inches so this one would be on your couch as a throw blanket and this one would range about 20 about 22 about 38 I would say and this only cost two dollars and ninety seven cents next up teenagers are always running around in their blankets so I got a couple blankets for teenagers and this one was at another goodwill but I didn't show it in the video but I bought two and one of them is neon and it's chevron teenagers love chevron this one not only has chevron but it also has tassels so it gives it a little bit of flair this one measures 70 by 58 inches so it could go on a twin bed maybe it can definitely go for more it, it would I would say this one would probably go anywhere between 20 to 42 with um, plus shipping next up we have another Chevron this one is 40 inches by 68 this one is more of a blanket that you walk around the house with this one it's a little bit bigger than your throw blanket but the knots are tighter and this one's a better quality but pink and teal teal is really big right now teals and pastels and uh this actually has a pet this looks like it's maybe an off-white but it is a pale pink so that is a really good color right now for uh the teenagers and this one i can definitely see going anywhere between 45 and 65 dollars next up my generation y'all it's coming true we are vintage the 90s start collecting the 90s because we apparently my generation is starting to collect obviously <laughs> <laughs> but this power ranger plate plastic plate go, go, power ranger. 1994 before there was a white ranger silver ranger green ranger no these are the basic rangers and the real authentic rangers 1994 and this 50 cent plate is going for ten dollars okay that's a nine dollar profit right there and you can find this anywhere it's plastic plastic yes. so that's a great find as well and then now getting into your dishware i know some there's so many dishes so look for patterns so pyrex pyrex is a great brand but not all pyrex is you know like i do replacements pyrex market is going down so i don't want you going out buying a bunch of pyrex because there's only specific pyrex uh patterns that are valuable value like really valuable but on replacements everybody in that in that era has their sets but a lot of them have broken or they don't have the full set so they want replacements I got this for 50 cents. I got four of them, $2 investment. Each of them are worth three bucks. That's four of them. So that's $12 right there. So $12 plus shipping. You're looking at $24.99 on $2 cost. Right there. Next up, we have the Winnie the Pooh. Perhaps I will have just a little taste. Our Winnie the Pooh lovers. This is a Winnie the Pooh goblet. goblet. Yes. Tell us about that, Chance. He found that and popped up with Winnie the Pooh in our video. <laughs> Got it for a dollar. Winnie the Pooh goblet. Well, it's Walt Disney Company. Yep. Got it for, yeah, a dollar. Yep. It's awesome. Winnie the Pooh holding some honey. Yeah. It did come in a set of two in a box, but again replacements you don't think that people want replacements but they do and if one broke and it was what if they use those as their you know a lot of people do weddings with disney so maybe that was their toasting glasses you never know but i'd post that for 8.99 and we got it for a dollar again another great buy to flip next up is this is a pressed glass so they pressed it they, they molded it blew it pressed it in that image and then they had left a hole so you could hang it up use it as a dream catcher or a ornament 
or you can just have a really cool gift but this is a just a nice paperweight anything you name it 50 cents 50 cents and it's worth $13.50 if you look it online 50 cents worth $13.50 a piece of glass with a fish stamp you got it for 50 cents we're gonna flip it for $13.50 plus shipping which ends up being close to 20 bucks but on our and on our um, website we have no seller fees so it'd be $18.99 on our site yes and then yeah. now we have the North Carolina Tar Heels Woo -woo. baseball cap and this is by Coliseum authentic yes authentic wear with an adjustable back yes new with, with ta uh, tags yeah. new with tags and he found this in a bin it was a tub it had a bunch of beanies and scarves and he dug in there and pulled that out still had tags and everything got it for a dollar and we're going to be able to flip that for what at least 10 to 12 bucks 10 to 12 bucks right there on a dollar yeah don't be afraid to dig in that bucket man <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we have hit our end of that first video. So I hope you enjoyed this haul video and the little tips and tricks we got. Keep your eyes peeled and we'll see you next time for the large haul. Bye.